Noise is introduced two ways into the average magnetic flow signal. One is by flow particulate, and the other is by induced noise. Induced noise is generated by eddy currents in the conductive process liquid in the tube. When conductors, such as the liner or process fluid, are exposed to changing magnetic fields generated from the coil's electromagnetic drive, eddy currents will be induced in the conductors. Eddy currents create induced magnetic fields, which oppose the change of the original magnetic field generated by the coil drive. This is called electromagnetic induction. These induced magnetic fields delay changing of the magnetic field generated by coil drive. Although zeroing off any changes could initially bring the signal back to a repeatable value, the shape of the signal waveform of induced noise may change with time. This could be caused by a variety of influences, such as process or ambient temperature change, electrode surface condition change, or adhesion in a flow tube, which results in zero-point shift or fluctuation. Process or ambient temperature changes result in property changes in a process liquid, such as conductivity or permittivity, which varies the magnitude of eddy currents that come into the electrode. Therefore, process ambient temperature change can cause zero shift or fluctuation. In the low frequency excitation method, the coil excitation frequency is low, allowing the induced noise to decay with time and decrease to zero where it is sampled. By sampling the portion of signal where induced noise doesn't exist, the induced noise can be canceled even if the waveform changes. Thus, low-frequency excitation can maintain excellent zero stability. On the other hand, in the high-frequency excitation method, the excitation frequency is fast and the sampling rate is fast, so the induced noise does not have a chance to dissipate. In high-frequency excitation methods, the zero point is more likely to be unstable. Conventional-style magnetic flow meters have difficulties in measuring fluids containing solid particulates which create process noise. Such noise can produce an unstable output which results in loss of accuracy and control. This is known as slurry noise. Slurry noise is generated when solid substances collide with the electrode. The electrodes are covered with a thin oxide film, and as solids hit the electrode, they break the oxide film, exposing the metal. Electronic noise occurs when the exposed metal stabilizes by re-oxidizing. Slurry noise has its highest amplitude on the flow noise spectrum at low frequencies. On the scale, you can see that as the excitation frequency increases, the noise level decreases. Signal sampling is synchronized with the excitation frequency. Conventional meters utilizing only low-frequency DC excitation will experience the effects of slurry noise much more prominently as the sampling rate is very low. High-frequency AC meters do a good job of reducing slurry noise. The higher the frequency, the higher the sampling rate, which lowers the effects of the noise generated. Typical AC magnetic flow meters run at 50 to 60 Hz thus pushing it out to the low end of the noise spectrum and generating a cleaner signal. Dual frequency excitation utilizes the benefits of both the high frequency and low frequency excitation methods. It has excellent zero stability from the low frequency of approximately 6 Hz and the fast response and noise immunity from the high frequency of 75 Hz, all in one excitation method. The electrode signal is processed in parallel by a high-frequency algorithm and a low-frequency algorithm, the outputs of which are similar to that of an AC magmeter or DC magmeter. The slurry noise averages to zero, utilizing the output of the high-frequency method. In order to eliminate the zero-drift problem of an AC magmeter, this output is then high-pass filtered, allowing only the rapidly changing components of flow to pass. The output of the low-frequency method provides excellent zero stability, but to eliminate the erratic output that results from slurry noise, it is low-pass filtered, eliminating the slurry noise by damping. The filter time constants are equal in value, 
but inverted such that when the filtered outputs are summed together, the original flow signal input is recreated at the output without slurry noise or zero drift and with excellent rate of response. The ADMAG dual frequency excitation is thus able to eliminate the downfalls of the individual excitation methods while maintaining all the benefits of both. The superior advantages of Yokogawa's dual frequency excitation makes the ADMAG series of magnetic flow meters essential for your process needs. From the most basic to the most extreme applications, the patented method allows you better visibility into your process. By having the ability to accurately measure and control your process, you can obtain higher yields, reduce costs, increase throughput, and produce a more uniform product. Yokogawa's ADMAG dual frequency excitation, having the advantages of both high and low frequency meters, provides unsurpassed benefits, such as great zero stability, a fast response time of 0.1 second, perfect for batch applications, immunity to slurry noises, essential in pulp and paper, chemical and mining industries, accuracy of 0.35% of reading with optional 0.2% of reading for better control and visibility into your process, and low power consumption, reducing the cost of ownership. When it comes to selecting the right flow meter, the choice is clear. The ADMAG series from Yokogawa offers outstanding performance, increased functionality, and ease of maintenance. Couple that with the tradition of quality and reliability our customers have come to expect from Yokogawa, and you have the most advanced, rugged, and adaptable magnetic flow meter on the market. We look forward to working with your company. We are confident the ADMAG magnetic flow meter will exceed your expectations.